Coming to you, coming to you. I'm trying. Hey, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming. Get the net, get the net. Get up, get up, get up, get up. I could go around the world, finest diamonds, precious pearls. They'd all turn to dust in my hand. Seven wonder city streets, ocean air and mountain peaks. They are not the finest in the land. There is literally a wall of gray, and that is not a mountain face that you're looking at. That is literally rain that we just came out of. There ain't nothing, there ain't nothing, there ain't nothing like a 25! Oh, 26! So, uh, we locked ourselves out of the bus. <gasps> oh, you shouldn't have. <laughs> but I'm so glad you did. All right, we just got to the put-in. Got our friends Will and Erica today to join us. And they're gonna help us tow the boats down to the river. Should be good. We've got, we've got two rafts and we're keeping the frames on today. And then we're just gonna run them down the slide and then we'll come back up, get the rest of the gear and uh, get after it. Go get the other boat. How you feel, Adam? Yeah. Real good. If I did that every morning, I'd be in shape. Oh, Got nice. it, Steve. Yeah. <laughs> you taking a nap? Trying to. Quick bird nap. guy we'll start small and go big just get bigger and bigger yeah, they come up and they just like yeah they like muff diving what do, you, what do i do then do i just send it the hook and then send it flying no you wait just let it marinate you let it marinate let it soak in some water because they like it it's like you leave your steaks in the marinade for 15 20 minutes Fair enough, yeah. that's how long you wait it's cool. the same deal it's just come like on, a well-seasoned steak all right Should be one as that drop. Should be one. Oh, there he is. Nice. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, right at that drop. Oh, oh my gosh. No, dude. So we're out overlooking a really deep pool. Going up on a cliffside to get a vantage point so we can see into the water and maybe find some fish because the water's clear enough and deep enough that we can see where they are. And I'm already seeing the cutties swimming around right there, nymphing. Looking for bullies, looking for cutties, looking for fish. So we don't know what we're gonna find quite yet, but signs are looking good. Slurping it. <laughs> well, I got a fly in my arm. It hurts real bad. Steve's about to extract it. And uh, we got the 20 pound here. Professionally up on each end. Ow. We're just gonna pop it right straight out. Ready? Yep. Three, two, one. 
there you have it. Oh, we already gave you guys. Oh, yeah. Cutthroat trout on the dry fly. Absolute monster. You see a cut? Oh. Nice. Oh, there he is. They're all this size. It's so funny. I feel like I'm catching the same fish over and over. There he goes. Switch rods when you have to fight. Fish. <laughs> yeah. Oh no! Uh, yep. Yep. Woo! Woo! There it was. <laughs> Definitely a net worthy fish, so I'm glad we could actually send it that was over what, six inches or so. I mean, <laughs> the curse of the day. Yeah, that's been about what uh, what we've been catching today. It's about six, six was about a good fish. That's been, I don't know. I don't. I won't say good, but. <laughs> well, it was a good fish for today. Fair enough. About the size of your streamer. Yeah, yeah exactly. About the size of most of the flies that I like to throw. That's what we were catching today. Ready? <laughs> I'm gonna do it before it gets too deep. See it, dude. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Almost got you with the oar there. Incredible with the mullet. Crushed it. Crushed it. Yes, we're almost at the takeout. It's been a fast paced day. There's been a lot of action. Unfortunately, the fish has just been small. Uh, it is what it is. It's just, you know, sometimes you catch a bunch of small fish and sometimes you don't. Uh, it's just kind of playing the numbers game today. But we were coming right around this corner. We saw the fish eating the, eating the run. Uh, I mean, this thing came up and just sipped right in the trough. Cast to it, first cast, boom, hooked him. So uh, came around the corner and uh, got this guy right here and uh, we're just about to let him go. Kind of fished our way over here, started working here, got a nice cast right up underneath uh, the waterfall here, rolled to underneath the tree, and next thing I know, this dude just comes up and just crushes it. Set the hook, and we just see this little snaky bin going on there. Adam and I are like freaking out because we have these rapids right here, trying not to carry it through. And I don't know how we managed to pull them in that quick with that bamboo on a four X there, but we got it. We got her in. All right. Yeah, buddy. Oh, there it goes. Alright guys, oh, yeah. see y'all. Nice Take it you. easy. Yeah. It's been a pleasure. Drive safe. Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. Nice, nice to meet y'all. Alright, well we just got back to camp here. We're just putting a, a little fire together. But we had a, a fun day today floating. It was so fun to get to meet up with Will and his girlfriend Erica and to get to fish with them today. Um, those guys are awesome, incredible people. And for those guys who don't know, uh, Will is actually a really talented uh, videographer and makes some awesome fly fishing films and does some, does some really, really incredible work. So make sure to go check out his YouTube channel, uh, Phelps on the Fly. I'll leave it linked somewhere around here. I don't know why he doesn't have more subscribers, so go help him out, go check out his channel, go subscribe, and uh, you won't be disappointed. So even though the bull trout, you know, the fishing wasn't here for the bulls, um, you know, they, it is uh, getting towards spawning season, which is why uh, July 31st is the last day that you're allowed to uh, bull trout fish. Uh, because they're headed up towards the spawn. Uh, looks like maybe we're a little late. They, uh, the bull trout have uh, seemingly already pretty much moved up at this point. You know, they've got other things on their mind, if you will, uh, I believe, than, uh, than eating our streamers, which is unfortunate. But even then, uh, you know, super fortunate that we, that we got to come to this spot, fish this river. It's, uh, it's really rare to have a river like this where there's no, uh, there's no dam. There's no, you know, it's not a tailwater, it's a headwater free stone river. And because this is so remote, there's not been a lot of human activity out here. I mean, all these fish are, you know, genetically pure, the cutthroat. They're not cut bows or there's no rainbow trout uh, at all. They're native fish that have been here forever. 
I mean, as long as these fish is, have existed, they've been here. So it's, since the bull trout fishing isn't going, we are gonna go ahead and get out of here, move on to our next spot, Craig, Montana, on the banks of the Missouri. And uh, we got some good reports, got a good report tonight, and uh, really hope we can capitalize on that for the next couple of days. All right, guys, uh, as we knew, the bus has terrible gas mileage. So uh, we knew we were coming way back in here. Uh, so it's a 50 mile drive in, 50 mile drive out. That's not as much the issue as uh, the fact that it's a dirt road and uh, we used at least half a tank of gas going in that 50 miles. So we knew we had a five gallon gas tank. Uh, however, it does not fit in the bus or in the in the gas opening so here's the opening for the gas compartment for the uh for the bus and my nozzle is definitely not long enough i've heard that before <laughs> to get from the outside into the gas tank so let me we're prepping this water bottle making sure there's no water in it with a somewhat clean towel there's glass in that towel glass is combustible so we now have this rig. Do we have any tape? Dude, you don't need tape. Okay. It's working. Here at Blue Line Co., if there's a will, there's a way. I gotta get a different grip on this thing. I gotta get you to stop pouring diesel on me. Well, that's just straight up gonna happen. I'm afraid I'm not having a good time. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> that's gonna do it for us here. The bus is on its way, it's heading out of the forest. Uh, we got about 50 miles until we get back in like civilization and into cell service. So we sent Adam with the bus early so he can get going and then we'll obviously catch up with him very soon. But I guess just kind of looking back on the, the last couple days, you know, we came in here with high expectations. We, we were hoping to catch bull trout, so a lot of them and big bull trout. And we found out really quickly that the, the bull trout fishing was just not on. You know, it's in the peak of the summer, it's hot, they're about to spawn, so the bull trout are moving upstream into the tributaries, way upstream into the colder water so they can spawn. So the fishing just wasn't quite there. And I think it can be very easy with a slow fishing trip or you know a fishing trip that's not meeting your expectations to, to kind of get distraught and get down on yourself and get down on the trip. But for us, there's, there's, there's so much more to it than just catching a bull trout or just hammering a bunch of fish. You know, being able to spend time out here in such an incredible place, getting to see a new place of the country that I've never been to. It's been like valuable time together and that's so hard to find nowadays. And so that's the kind of thing that I really appreciate about being here and what I preach about the short bus diaries and why we do these trips. So we're about ready to roll here. I'm just waiting on Steve to get back. We've got a whole week ahead of us, so there's a lot to look forward to. So it'll be good to kind of switch the gears up and kind of have a little fresh start and uh, see what see what Craig has uh, has in store for us. I'm gonna need you to speed up a little bit there, buddy. So uh, we locked ourselves out of the bus, pulled over here for a quick pit stop on the side of the road. Uh, because we're responsible, we locked the rear door. And uh, as you can see, the bus is on a little bit of an incline. Uh, so when I closed the bus doors, they locked all the way, which you're not supposed to close those all the way because then you'll get locked out. So uh, I've got a game plan to fix it, but it's gonna take us a sec. No, the, the bus, I accidentally locked this out of the bus. So I'm gonna teach you how to slim jim a short bus with an oar. Get it? Got it. Unlock the bus. And that's how you do it. got to Craig finally been driving all day and we actually got a little hotel room for the night 
Um, we haven't had a shower in like a week, so we're gonna we're gonna get a good night's rest and kind of refuel and recalibrate, and then we'll be back in the bus uh, for the rest of the week. Oh, hold on, hold on. Yeah. We're here. Welcome to Craiglandia, home of Joe's Bar. Hello. Bugs, I swear to God, I was walking over there to the uh, bus and I don't know how many caddises I just inhaled just breathing. It's going to be a good week. All right, I wanted to give a quick shout out to uh, our good friends at Blue Truck Outdoors. They're the ones who have produced all of our Wildfly hats uh, as well as all of our Short Bus Diaries hats that are available on our website. Uh, they played a huge role in making this whole series happen and I uh, cannot thank those guys enough. If any of you run a fly fishing brand, a brick and mortar fly shop, or a mom and pop shop, and you're looking to get custom apparel done, I highly recommend you guys check Blue Truck Outdoors out. The whole apparel deal is really tough when you first start out with, but these guys have made it super easy for us. They've helped us out a ton, and they've been able to deliver an awesome product that we're super happy about. So if you're looking to get custom apparel done, definitely hit these guys up. I, uh, I'll leave a link to their website which I'll, with all their contact information down below, and you guys can go check that out. But uh, let's get back to the video. So we're in Craig. We're going to uh, grab us a spot of breakfast here and hit up a uh, fly shop, grab a couple of bugs, and uh, we actually need a little bit of tying material. So we're gonna get some material from these guys. They got a good tying section, and uh, then we're gonna be ready to rock and roll. Let me kind of give you the rundown of this place. We have the local restaurant with a pretty nice bar uh, named Isaac's after a famous fly fishing book. If you haven't read the book, uh, don't because it's boring. You have headhunters, you have cross currents, and then you have trout shop. A couple of these places all have lodging, and then there's a uh, awesome local bar right over here on the other side of this. There's no reason to come here if you don't fish, but this is like the absolute mecca of like fly fishing, not just because of the fishing, but also just the community that is Craig. Finally gonna be able to put the boat in the water. Uh, we have a nice boat ramp today. It's actually a real boat ramp, which is pretty cool. Haven't had that in a little while. Steven's been around all morning. I don't know what he does. I'm not sure how he exists in life without me constantly watching over him. That's kind of just where we're at. That was a good fish. Well, I just missed the first fish of the day, and I'm relearning that when you're fishing 5x, you can't just you can't just give it to them. Um, you gotta give them line. So. Scotty? Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's a cold boat. Cold boat. Yeah. Watch your rod tip, Scotty. Head in the boat. I got you, I got you. Got him. Got the tank. Ooh. Studly little bow there. First one, finally. So there's a really cool flat right here. I knew there was a grass flat. The river comes around a deeper cut with a grass flat up here. So uh, we just ran our flies right down through there and uh, picked up our little friend right here. Cool little rainbow. So yeah, on the board. Hopefully that can keep it up today. Thanks, bud. Oh, what a f awful cast that was. Tailing loops like a. All right, here's the water. 
Slow, slow down, slow down. Yeah, I need that damn six. <laughs> there it was. Oh, you're fine. It's a pretty steadily little fish. Not a toad, but coming to you, coming to you. I'm trying. You know how they do? Oh, he's gone now. Yellow hopper. Hey, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming. Get the net, get the net. Never mind. He's giving me my business here. Get up, get up, get up, get up. See, see if this will do it. I'm trying, I'm trying. Oh, yeah. Hold that. Woo. Nice. Here. I just wanted to show you fellas how to catch a fish. Hey, do y'all do that show going down the uh, uh, lower falls on Henry's Fork? Yeah. Yeah. You guys, yeah, that's us. In, in, the, uh, in the school bus? Yeah. Yeah. I, I thought so, yeah. yeah. That was us. The, 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 the school bus is down in Craig. Come come see us. Yeah, yeah come so down there. We got some beer if you want some. Just swing by. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, it's good stuff, man. Appreciate we appreciate it. that. I don't, even know how, I don't even know how to recap the day. I feel like we had different days. <laughs> I don't know if I can recap your day. I think that I got caught on everything possible in this boat. Right. And everything possible on my shorts, on the rods. It was on the oars. I got caught on the grass. Uh, definitely a warm welcome to the Mo. And it was rough. Steve and I got skunked. We, you know, oh, hate to say God. it, but we got skunked. It happens to the best of us. And the worst of us. <laughs> <laughs> Does it happen to the best of us? <laughs> Adam fished for probably a total of an hour and was the only one to catch fish the entire day. Um, but that's okay, we've got a couple days where we're gonna dial it in. This is my first time ever fishing this river. It's completely new. And uh, yeah, learned a lot today. Was frustrated a lot today, but tried to push through it and uh, tried to make the best of it. And here we are uh, coming into the boat ramp. Anyone who's fished the Missouri will tell you that it's kind of a different game. It's like a big slap in the face of like a welcome to the west to fish. There's a lot of wind on this river, which I think was getting you today. Yep. That's definitely, that can definitely humble you. You have to almost relearn how to fight fish. You know, you are seriously on nearly every fish you catch, pushing your tippet to the limit of what it, of what it will be able to handle. Our, our day started out slow because we didn't have our early 90s hip hop playing. <laughs> Then we got that going, fishing really picked up. I mean, the fish really turned on when we turned on the early 90s hip hop. They respond well to that. But then we ran out of beer. As Soon as we ran out of beer, we didn't catch any more fish. And uh, Steve's not allowed to pack a cooler anymore. You put a <laughs> gallon of sweet tea in there. How am I supposed to fit beer in there in a 45 with a you gallon of sweet tea in there? You take the gallon of sweet tea out? I'm not, letting of, him, I'm, not letting him, ice I'm, I'm not letting him pack the coolers anymore. Whatever, dude. And that's what happened, man. She's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And she's also what we left her, so that's always a positive, too. Great job walking, Steve. All right, guys, we bought some uh, ribeye steaks. We've got four ribeyes for three people, so I'm pretty excited about that. So we're doing steak and eggs. We got our cast iron skillet here for some eggs. We got our steaks in the uh, in the grill here. Oh, <laughs> this is bad.
And if you guys have been following along so far, you know that we are giving away one of these hatch reels at the end of the series. All you've got to do is go follow us on Instagram, Wildfly Productions, and we'll be announcing the winner at the end of the series. So unless you spin fish and you don't want a fly reel, uh, go follow us, Wildfly Productions, and uh, yeah, hopefully you can uh, you can win one of these bad boys.